Welcome back to another video on Pal World, and today we're going to be looking at something else which is slightly different but something that I just didn't know for a very very long time. Once you do know it becomes very simple and as it says in the title you can make infinite cakes. Cakes are really 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 useful in Pal World because if you want to breed your pals it becomes so so effective and this means you can breed as many as you want without even having to worry about having cake. So there are some prerequisites that you need. So you need a select few pals, so you need three of them of which, and you will need these three right here. You need this cow, he's a cow, the chicken, and the bee. So you need these three, these are the most important three out there, and then you also need other pals that can then create and harvest for a plantation. So we're gonna use this Mossander because he is very, very good at planting. And then we also use everyone else because like this guy here, he has three gathering. Put them into the chest and then you can go from there. And it's so, so effective, so simple. And I can't stress this enough. You need to follow this guide. Watch till the end because there are some very, very, very important things to follow. I will show you all locations and all ways to catch things and we'll carry on with the video right now. So first of all, you need to catch all three of these. This middle one right here, the chicken, every single player who's ever played Power World will have a chicken because they literally spawn in at any of the starting areas. So you spawn in right here and look at all of this area, all on the right, all on the left up there and in there. And I think they also spawn at night. Yeah, they do. So the next one is the cow. He is probably the second easiest slash hardest one. So the cows are only located in one area of the map here both in day and at night, so you can go at any time of the day you want, but it's only in this little section right here. And the third and final one, which I think is the hardest one, is the B, where is it? It's called the B Guard, there we go. So it's located around where I am at here, so it's about in the middle right section of the map. They are quite difficult because they're a fairly high level and as well, if they get too aggroed on you, they will start to come at you and literally blow themselves up like a creeper. So be aware of that. Use range attacks and throw the ball at them from quite a distance. Uh, they are also the spawning there at night so you can go at any time of the day. I recommend going in the day so it's easier to see them so you can pick them off from range. So obviously you then need to deploy all three of them into your base and take them over to the grazing area. Is it the ranch or something? They all graze, so the cow makes milk, and the honey, which is right here, is made by the bee, and the chicken makes the eggs. And if you have transporting pals, they will then bring them over to this area because they are food. And then as well as that, you need the harvesting, etc., for all of these plantations just here. I have two of them for the berries and one of them for the wheat. And I have plenty of pals that all take them over. And because they all class as food, they take them over to the feeding bowl thingy that I can't get in. There we go. So they will actually eat them all if they're on the left side. So I keep baked berries because that helps out a little bit with the sanity. You keep them on the left hand side and everyone will just bring everything else in. Look at all that. I've got so much of everything. This works so well. That's why it's pretty much infinite because it's so, so quick and easy to do with just one of each. And then of course you need to use the wheat and take it over to this mill over here and grind it into flour, acquire that, and then you have to then bake them into a cake. And I think I can make quite a few, what the hell is that? I think I can make quite a few now, 51. So I'll start production on that. And then I wanna get some fire guy, which is this guy right here. He's an absolute monster because he does it so fast. There we go, so he is now on it and it just creates the cake like that. It is very, very fast considering because if you just do it yourself or someone else with slightly less power does it, it will be really, really slow. So make sure to get someone who has a higher kindling power, like one of these three right here, preferably the big guy. And the more cakes you have, the better, because as you can see in a little clip that I have on screen here, there's two of them, so I'll show both. I actually wanted to breed Anubis for a mining farm. You put in the Bushy and the Pen King, you put them in the area where you can breed them together, and then you put multiple cakes in, and as shown in these clips, I actually had five eggs on that one bit, so I could then put them all in for the fertilizing and incubating, which I have done right here. All five of them are over here, pretty much about to be done, and then I can get my Anubises for my 
or farm. That is the simplest way. So easy, so, so simple to get cakes in Power World. It is a bit complicated at the start, but once you've caught the right pals, you're going to be well away, plain sailing from there. If you did enjoy the video, if you could please like and subscribe to the channel, it would be much appreciated. Thank you very much, and goodbye.